My degree is nothing more really than about one aspect, which is proof. And proof is simply nothing more than an explanation about why something is true. So I've spent two years now doing nothing but providing arguments that are logical and start from a hypothesis and end at a conclusion. And of course, it's not just, to, uh, it's not just important to be able to provide these arguments, but you want to try and strive to give arguments and explanations that are precise, clear, sharp, and brief. These are characteristics that are encouraged in our degree program. In my first year, there was an additional question that uh, we, we could choose to do. It was more of a challenge question. I found out later that most students didn't even attempt it because of the level of difficulty. But I was really enthusiastic and I really wanted to try and do it. And it took me actually just over a month to be able to solve it. But through the entire month, all I was, all I was doing was essentially the wrong thing. And I was being criticized constantly for an incorrect approach, for not having understood a, a particular topic before well enough to do the problem but being able to respond during that time and to not give up has re really meant that I could study uh, could I, I, that I could solve the problem eventually. Mathematics is a subject that builds on itself and it tries whenever possible to generalize. In fact some people say that mathematical beauty is about encapsulating as much as possible in a uh, as little as possible, as little as writing as possible, if you like. And um, as a result, I've, sp I've spent my two years here facing the challenge of being able to think very deeply about what I'm learning and see connections between these subjects to be able to integrate ideas and hopefully develop a, big, uh, a wide awareness for the subject as a whole. In my second year, I did a module called Mathematical Writing. This is a module that teaches you the language of higher mathematics and how to use it with precision and fluency in a variety of contexts. Using assessments and examinations, it tries to test your ability to be able to communicate mathematics to different types of people effectively, concisely and successfully. I had a coursework question where I had to explain the concept of the natural logarithm function, which some of the viewers I'm sure would, would have heard of. Um, but I had to do it in roughly 150 words, and I had to do it in two instances. In the first instance, I had to communicate this to a, an advanced mathematician. But in the second instance, I had to do the same thing to someone who has very little mathematical background. So of course, in, 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 what, in the first scenario, my objective is to be as technical as possible, whereas in the second scenario I have to try and minimize the technicalities and be as simple as possible. You are forced to take far more responsibility in this module and accept that challenge and rely on your own intuition, your own problem-solving skills, your own creativity and to trust those instincts.